to recall the trams of my boyhood is to be reminded particularly of that time. The holidays are handily situated for two tram routes. If we're going into town rather than grandma's in Wortley, the quickest way is to take a number 14. The Stanley trams are generally somewhat superior to those on other routes, more upholstered. But the drawback with the Stanley Road trams is that they come down from Bramley or even Rodley and are always pretty crowded. So more often than not we go for the other route, the number 16. This being the terminus, the tram is empty and as likely as not waiting, or if you've just missed one, the next will already be in sight, swaying up Wingate. We wait as the driver swings outside and with a great twang hauls over the bogey ready for the journey back. While upstairs the conductor strolls down the aisle, reversing the seats before winding back the indicator on the front. The driver and conductor then get off and have their break, sat on the form by the tram stop. The driver, generally older and more solid than the conductor. Dad is a smoker, so we troop upstairs rather than going inside. The word, a reminder of the time when upstairs was also outside. We wedge ourselves in the front corner to be exposed to the wind and weather, an unexpected treat, and also an antidote to the travel sickness from which both my brother and I suffer. Though I realise now that this must have been due as much to all the smoking that went on as to the motion of the tram itself. Neither of us ever actually is sick, but it's not uncommon and somewhere on the tram is a bin of sand, just in case. So the four of us, Mam, Dad, my brother and me, were on the tram sailing down Tong Road into town. <laughs>